so hi friends so today in this video we will see how to migrate a rsvn repository to git github so let's find out okay so before moving into uh, the SVN, uh, SVN to get migration you need to know something basics like in SVN repository there are actually three things trunk tracks and branches trunk which creates the master branch in the github actually this is the mapping between the SVN repository and github and tags means how many software releases you have like uh, creates uh, release one release two release three these are stored in the tags and branches means how many branches you have like my developer branch my client branch something like that so for this we have used a free cloud repository of svn which is rio ux svn and i have created a repository which is named as full repo so here is my svn repository url so we'll migrate this repository all the contents of this repository to this repository which i've created in github svn to get okay and this is completely a new repository as you can see so let's dig into it so first thing we need to clone this repository in our local machine so just right click over here and click svn checkout so it will automatically select that repository url and your local url uh, local directory and just press ok so initially you didn't have that svn checkout or totwest so you need to install totwest svn for this yeah now as you can see my full repo is completely cloned over my local system where i have trunk where which will create the master branch over github we have tags which contains the releases my dev release one and dev release two and also the branches I have two branches my dev branch and my client branch for demo purposes fine so now there are some cell script you need to write okay so step one i have also created a document which you can go i will attach to the description so you could go through like as you can see first thing we need to generate the author file author file suggest how many people have committed to that repository so just right click over and open git bash yeah just increase a little font okay. so now the first command will just write that creating the author file okay just to paste it so here this is my repository url as you can see the svn repository url and that's this will create a author file with my desktop location okay so as you can see there is a author file has been generated so if we open this so you can see my name because i am the only holder of that current repository as you can see shanton kosh so just change it with your ml email and put what is that www data this is the actually a default for the linux system uh, i have also created the reason why it's created is the user that web servers are ubuntu used by default for normal operation can access any file and it can access it it will not create any problem so just save it and my next command is the the log creating the log, log it is actually creates all the releases and all the changes that recently have pushed to that code repo if you paste it here is as you can see svn log and repo so see in my dev branch created it is run by a new branch created by me so it also tracks all the thing okay uh, one thing to be say here as you can see when i created that author file there is a called awk so by default when you run it with first time you may get an error so for this thing you need to install gawk for windows and go to it complete package expects except sources 
just set up file download the setup file and add to the environmental variables so bin bin path okay so my next command is so you can see i will git clone i will clone the sv repository to make git repository but mind it it doesn't clone the tags means the software releases so you need to do it manually uh here i am giving the repository url and authors file so just run it now as you can see it will initialize all the thing like my dev branch trunk my dev branch 2.0 trunk my dev branch 1.0 my client branch all the things okay <coughs> Just clear it now we will migrate to the folder cd full repo it is my in desktop okay now we'll just add the origin of the github repository to here this is my origin git remote add origin so I'll just add it over here yeah I have added it what is the time six minutes okay so next step is to converting the spin branches to get branches okay so just we can see in which branch we have so as you can see we are currently in master branch so this trunk branch will create the master the master branch mapping in github these are the two software releases and these are the two branches we have so in the next video we will see the next processes thank you